All right, man, I'm going to talk about it because a lot of y'all twisting it up a little bit. Quando Rondo, as much as all of you people picking sides and you don't like him, I like his music. I like his story. I like everything he got going on. I'm cool with Dirk and them, too. I'm not about to pick sides and act like I'm in the street beef with them and I can't like Rondo. It's been a lot of people saying we might find out that R Rondo told. That's Cap. We could even see on video when Rondo was looking at his cousin Lil Pap being taken out the vehicle and screaming no or whatnot. We literally see Rondo still keeping street cold, telling the cops he don't know what happened. I, I heard it. I heard the audio, everything. We seen it. We all seen it. Why is people out here trying to make Rondo look like the bad guy? Whatever was going on between NBA young boy, King Von, Contrell, and, 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 you know, Rondo, whatever, that's their situation, bro. That ain't have nothing to do with none of us. To be honest with you, Rondo kept it more solid than Little Dirk homies. If you're one of Little Dirk partners, you know I'm not talking to you. Mind your business. If it don't apply, let it fly. You know very well in your organizations there are informants and rats. Not just informants, regular ones, ones who's been working damn near half a decade, a whole decade. Let's keep it a stack. Quando Rondo, all them things that has happened to him too, he had all the reasons in the world to flip on everybody and get everybody locked up and in trouble. It's like everybody crossed them to pick sides. You've seen a lot of people admitted they did the same thing to NBA Youngboy, which was weird. When I seen folks in the industry talking about doing interviews with academics, talking about we did pick sides, I thought it was just a rumor. You know what I mean? To see these lame dudes admit and take onus to, oh, we rock with dirt, so we can't rock with this side. If I'm dirt, I would be uncomfortable around dudes like that because as quick as they could flip on somebody randomly they don't even know like that and act like they inherited Dirk's beef, Dirk need to look out and watch out because them dudes will inherit other beefs to cross you. Because at the end of the day, what I've seen in that day when King Von, and I'm going to speak very respectful because these days on the internet when you speak truth, you talk as a grown man. It'd be little weird scavengers in the comment sections who like, bro, you, you're doing too much. You don't care about. And it's like, am I talking to grown men and women? Or are we talking about young adolescents who haven't matured yet? So let's fast forward, bro. Let's not even duck off from the answers of it, bro. I seen on that video King Vaughn looking like he was inebriated. Facts. You hyped. Look like you've been thinking about this the whole time. Look like he pre knew that I'm gonna say allegedly that Quando was gonna be there because he walked right towards Quando. Not like he was surprised. Like you knew before and prior, you exited the vehicle and even drove to that parking lot at that event at that club. You knew ahead of time that Quando Rondo was gonna be there. Where was the homies to hold him? Now I seen his manager say you held him and. But Vaughn is strong, but it's a whole group of y'all. He's the bag. The bag wasn't protected, just like the bag wasn't protected for Little Dirk. Nah, that's factual. We're going to go deeper on the Little Dirk one on other videos. We read the whole indictment. I can literally do this easy, so we're going to do that. But let's fast forward. Quando Rondo, I'm not acting like he didn't know it was up and stuck with King Vaughn. Yeah, it's beef. I ain't going to fake it. You know it's up there, but it looked like Quando was trying to talk. And it looked like King Von is like, F that. We're going to make you look bad and we're going to get our moment. But that's not nothing wrong with what King Von did. He tried to get a fight. But where I'm from, ain't no more fairness like that because the streets is unforgiving, bro. So if Quando Rondo think he should be giving King Von a fair one when all them guys was coming up from King Von, how do we know nobody was going to jump or not? You see what I'm trying to tell y'all? I know y'all going to get mad at me, but if you're a little Tim, you see a whole squad of people walking up to your bro. First thing you're going to do is think, I got to defend my guy. Bro, I wish I had a whole lot of partners who was like Quando, not Quando Rondo, but Lil Tim, bro. And I'm not coming at King Von no type of way. In fact, I wish King Von had a lot of people like Lil Tim. He did have some. Rest in peace to the one who unfortunately lost his life and the other one who got half of his skull taken off. You know what I mean? You're not going to get me to look at that type of friendship and say, oh, they the wrong ones, they the bad ones. Y'all playing guessing games. Maybe you should have did this. Maybe you should have did that. We don't know. We don't know that at all, bro. 
come across to think again when I looked at the situation. Rondo did make it bad too by doing beef videos right afterwards, doing subliminal. But who am I to tell people what to say towards each other when they don't like each other? You just not going to get me to pick sides because at the end of the day, Rondo kept it more solid than these dudes who are around Little Dirt the whole time. Rondo never went to the law enforcement. They've been, there has been several times they tried to take Quando's life. We've seen that since, since King Von been killed, we've been seeing relentless incidents, even ones we know of that's not reported on the media or anything like that, word of mouth. We heard about them strip club shootings, allegedly, all these situations. Quando Rondo, homeboy being hit up. I ain't even talking about Lil Pat. Look at y'all. We're not even talking about little Pat being killed. Paying attention to the excessiveness of going on that camera and doing the most. And when the time in the kitchen get hot, folks in them be the main ones pointing you out, bruh. The Donnie Brasco situation was the nastiest I've seen by far because of who the person was. There is no way Dirk should have been around that type of situation. Like I said, who are the key players to give dog his advice? But at the end of the day, like I said, accountability is the best ability. If Dirk never took accountability the right way, there was no way he was going to overcome the Fed indictments, whether it was a RICO or a federal indictment. The RICO is still going to come, but they don't even need the RICO for little Dirk no more. They got enough on him to fry him for life, and they're going to do that. Only way they wouldn't fry him for life if they made Dirk cooperate on other unsolved murders. But little Dirk is the bag. He's the big fish that every federal agent, such as Sarah Cochran, who's the main one who wrote the paperwork to indict. You know what I mean? The main one who wrote the paperwork to indict. I'm paying attention to it. Like she, she's basically going to get elevated in her field through her chain of command. She's going to get all type of promotions, bro. Guaranteed, bro. I look at her and I, I salute her as far as, damn, you, you blessed, you up. That's not nothing towards Dirk. It's just more like these young dudes don't know that you agents, you dream to take these dudes down. Y'all be taking five to 10 years. Some agents take damn near 15 years on some of these big cases. Remember the big face, like Dirk ain't even... Pablo Escobar, but what hip hop is, it represents the same resources and access that the drug game brings. Hip hop is one of the thriving things that make you the most money, especially if you're not black and you're white. You can make a hip hop channel right now. You'll be the next 1090 Jake, the next Trap Lord Ross, Adam 22. Adam used to talk about skates. He seen he did that interview of XXXTentacion. The rest was history, multi-millionaire. Maybe he been was that, I don't know, through his BMX thing. But he made way more money in this hip-hop stuff because hip-hop is the new drug business. They don't care if Dirk is a fake dude or a real dude. He's the face. And the face is everything on that game board. Checkmate. Game over.